Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a first look at Raji, an ancient epic. This is an indie title, I don't know much about it, except that it's about ancient India, and it's developed by a, an Indian development team, which is super cool. Um, and apparently the team's got a lot of women on it, and when the game was announced, a lot of, like, you know, shitty people went off of them for being women, or possibly for being Indian. I don't know if you know, racism and misogyny was the motivation, or possibly both. Um, but, yeah, this game sounds like it's probably super awesome, because it's from cool people. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, I probably can't fully appreciate, you know, the ancient Indian culture, because I'm super white. Um, but apparently this game is very popular in India, so let's have a look and see what we've got. I don't know a lot about it besides what I've said already. Um, it runs on the Unreal Engine, uses FMOD, it's something to do with super.com, I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, we've got a little spear thingy. Loading. Raji, an ancient epic. Okay, this loading screen does look very cool. Um, I don't know how long it's going to sit here. Okay, it now says Raji, an ancient epic. Press any button, okay? I pressed up on the D-pad, so that does count as a button. The heart of our story. Golu and Raji. Brother and sister. And this was their whole world. This one small carnival. The other performers were their friends, their only family. This was home. On that day before their performance, Raji took her brother aside. Did you forget, little brother? She asked him. And she tied a rakhi to his hand. For it was the feast of Rakshabandhan. Although it was a feast day, they still had coins to earn. So Raji walked on tight ropes and tumbled for the crowd. While Golu told his puppet tales of ancient times when demons walked the lands. A long, long time ago, a demon did penance. For showing such devotion, Brahma blessed him with immortality and a mighty weapon of all. Upon receiving, he united the demons to wage a war. Bhumi Devi urged him to stop. He killed her ruthlessly without thought. <gasps> this angered Shiva greatly, and he stomped, dividing the continents. And the demons were forever lost. But as he spoke, the skies darkened and the earth shook. And other figures dressed as demons strode through the crowd. These were not masks. This was not a child's tale. <gasps> As the demons turned to slaughter, Raji tried to reach her brother. 
He'd been hurt, and he was scared. And she knew she must protect him. But in that moment, Raji failed. For the Garasura demons took Golu from her. Raji. Awake, my child. Oh, it's a title screen. Okay. Golu. Golu. No. I'm so, so sorry, Pai. Oh, I have control now. Okay, I thought it was still the cutscene. Um, so yeah, that was the opening cinematic. It was gorgeous. Um, it looked a little overly compressed, I guess. Um, which is a shame because it is super good looking. Like, that was really nice animation. Uh, let me see. Uh, we have options. User profiles. Oh, I see. You get multiple saves. Uh, subtitles on. Language English. Espanol. French. Italiano. Lots of languages, as you can see. I'm going to leave it on English because that's the only one I can read. Uh, controls, can I remap them? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but I can turn vibration off. I'm not going to. Uh, let's he head off. Okay, so I can move around with the left analog. D-pad does nothing. None of the other buttons do anything. Uh, plus is pause, by the way. That was plus. Okay. So... I'm walking very slowly. I hope this is just an intro thing. She better speed up, <laughs> otherwise this is going to be a very slow game. <laughs> okay, this this scenery is is really pretty. This is really well designed. Yeah, I'm guessing this is just the intro. Probably get more abilities and stuff shortly. I don't really know. Do I have to go this way? Yeah. Oh, now I'm going fast. Check that out. Look how fast. Okay. That's more like it. Okay. She is so young. You said that. Child. Remember Shiva's words. Oh, interesting. Look, I'm trying to walk off the edge here. And it just makes me wibble instead of going down there. Is this one strong enough? Time will tell. Um, I thought something might happen when I stood in the middle there, but. Is she going to get some sort of power from the goddess? Her brother and the other children had been seized by the Garasura. I told her that she must be strong. Her yeah, journey will be difficult and full of unknowns. I blessed her with the Trishul, my most powerful weapon that Shiva had given to me. Oh, okay. This with Raji's own serenity and strength, would save her brother. Ah, 
Oh, it shrank when I went near it. That's helpful. Because it was very big. Okay. Uh, then it disappeared? Okay. Oh. She has no serenity. Okay, so if you press B normally, you just sort of do a, a flip or a roll or whatever. But if you press it near an edge, you do a jump. She leaves gasms. Interesting. She stands fearless before a goddess. And yeah, A for dropping? Okay. Pressing A here does nothing. Is there anything back there? Mm, it looks like there might be, but I don't think I can go back there. Y button? Did that do something? I... Maybe it's like a checkpoint? I don't know. <sighs> there is fire in her. Yes, it must be tempered. But without that fire... She would have already given up. Oh, climbing. Let's go. Many mortals would not be brave enough to climb. I like this approach to tutorials, like showing a little ghostly you doing things. It's clever. Oh, this is looking more dangerous. I'm guessing if I fall down, that's bad. There, see? She is learning to think and to use the skills of her childhood. It is one thing to climb a pole. A demon? Is that how it's pronounced? To Interesting. Save her brother, Raji must face the demons. No, that one said demons. Interesting. Hmm. She held the Trishul, and it was a gift of great power. I'm not sure what the like corresponding Indian word is that they're translating. I don't know the it language was very well. By Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, and would help her stand against her terrible foes. Oh, am I gonna get to attack stuff? But it was also a great responsibility. <gasps> oh no. To wield it, she would need strength, courage, and belief. Oh, I'm somewhere different. Uh what have we here? My button? Okay, so why is like a generic action button by the looks of things? Uh, did I come through that hole to get here? I'm not really sure. The platforming's pretty smooth, it's very easy, like it feels a bit like sort of Assassin's Creed-ish. Where you can just basically free roam where you want to go. Um, rather than more platformy, but I think it's just not the focus, which is fine. Oh, I can attack now. Am I doing it wrong or something? Oh, 
Oh, X for like a big jump attack. Nice. Ooh. Okay, I gotta dodge that guy by rolling with B. Yeah. Oh, now there's a real one. Oh! Okay, so that's my health surrounding me. I'm not sure if I have a limit on the number of, like, extra powerful attacks I can do. She has the demon reeling. Now she will bring an end okay, so A for finishing move? Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, I can throw my spear. Okay. Nice. Okay. A little bit of a frame rate drop there, but it's okay. Yeah, rolling attack. I think I accidentally did a few of those earlier. The vibration isn't great, like, it's not like HD rumble or anything, it's just one level of vibration. And it's kind of going off fairly often. Um, it's alright, it's not a huge problem. And it can be switched off, so I might do that if it gets too annoying. I don't really have a good sense of what each button is meant to represent yet. Like, A button is, does a finishing move, but sometimes it does other things. And X is like your special move, I guess. Um, B is always like dodge and jump around and be acrobatic, but sometimes Y is a generic action button. I don't know. Can I, like, deflect their attacks or something? Or am I doing this the way I'm supposed to already? There we go. I s oh, you get health back from when you kill the enemies. They, like, drop little petals or something. <gasps> Ooh, wall running. Watch this. I do like to wall run. See what she can do. Okay, we got a got a bridge here. Oh, there's a bit missing. Okay, so A slides you down. Okay, so A when climbing is the down button basically. Okay, I can I can remember that. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So you can twirl around a pole. That's fun. Oh, and it stuns enemies. Interesting. So I guess A in battle is like a special move sort of thing. You twirl around the poles with it, and you also do the finishing move with it. Oh, can't go that way. The Mandala shows each person their fast. Oh, is this like a save point or something? Oh, hang on. 
Oh. Okay, so it's like a... It's a turny thing puzzle. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay, so the outside, outermost part you can't turn. Can I make it turn faster? It doesn't look like it. And it's L and R, it's not ZL and ZR. I tried both. I see. Okay. This goes around this way. Kind of slow, but it's alright. Myself and Kulu. Oh, cute. Is there anything else over here that I need to do? Or something sparkling that might be relevant? Let's go have a look. There. Amrit Bund. The golden nectar. The fruits of a demon kill. Its power will heal your wounds. Okay, so that's just a health pickup. Okay, this is open now because I did the puzzle on the floor. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, hello. What have we got here? Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> this gal has some very cool combat moves. over here. Uh, nothing. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Over here maybe? Oh, there's something here. No? No, it looked like there was something. Okay, I guess we're meant to go this way. This looks like a battle area. Pretty much the same as the bit I just did. I'm not sure if it's teaching me something new or if it's just the same stuff. That demons. Oh, health, thank you. Uh, is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Let us proceed. I really like the combat. Just having all these like different stunts you can do and mix them in with the attacks, it's really cool. Kali's the goddess of death, right? I think? I'm, I'm not super familiar with Hindu mythology. Is that powering up my sword or something? 
my not my sword, my spear. Did it just get more powerful? Like I don't know what just happened. Oh. I'm guessing if I take out this guy, I get my power back and I can do it again? No? I don't know how it works. <laughs> oh, maybe I can go back over there and just get another one. Yeah, I can. Okay. Um, what was it again? X? No, it was ZR, actually. Bam. Oh, I see. It fills up as I attack things. So once it's full, I can go over there and get a new power. Interesting. I'm clearly intended to do that, because, yeah, there's a whole lot going on here. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll get another one just in case I need it. Boop. Looks like you can only have one at a time, but maybe you can have more, I just didn't realize. She shows promise. She will need battle skills. That is so true. And they will be sorely tested. But that is not what I meant when I asked if she was strong. What's over there? I can't go over there. Maybe I'll go over there later? Maybe I went over there already and forgot about it. I don't know. <laughs> Look here, Durga. They have captured your own story. Ah, Mahishasura, the shape shifter, the buffalo demon. Evil incarnate. Yet, without him, you would not have come to me. This is the moment when he was. Can Raji hear the gods talking? It's not really clear. Like obviously I can and you can if you're watching, but I don't I don't know if Raji's supposed to be able to hear those things. And here Mahishasura seized the heavens. Oh, I can't actually run up this wall. Interesting. Hmm, some of the animation when you're climbing up stuff is a little choppy, but it's fun enough that it's okay. <laughs> like, if you have a look at the way that looks, it's not quite looking right. It's good, though. Your birth, Durga. The Devas knew it was their only chance to create a being capable of destroying Looks like they're, destroying like, their using all these weapons together all to create it or something? Focused into Interesting. One body. Gifted with all their weapons. Yeah, gifted with I all their weapons. What your first thoughts were? Well. 
Well. Oh, now we're over here. You forced him back. I remember it well. You on a lion's back, leading the battle line. The devas flocking behind you, inspired with new courage. Mahishasura at bay, forced to take his true form. The monstrous buffalo. Stamping your bells, but I can't reach them. <laughs> crushing warriors with his hooves and throwing them into the air with his great horns. The killing blow struck with the threshold in your hand. There was no fear on your face, although Mahishasura had shaken the heavens themselves. The battle light in your eyes, determination on your brow. I knew then what the devas had made, and I knew then what change you would bring to our world. From evil comes great good. Such is the balance of the world. Well, that was a, just a bit of a narrative, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of odd that it happened to be right here where we are. A lot of information about, about the game's backstory. Oh! Oh, well that's my first death, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what happens when you die. Okay, you respawn at basically the same spot. Okay, there we go. Timing was important. What has happened here? So yeah, this isn't quite as easy as Assassin's Creed. You can mess up your free running a bit if you do things wrong. Mahabalasura's demons have warped one of the holy trees of Bhumi Devi. This oh no. is why Shiva imprisoned him to stop such corruption. Bit of a frame rate drop here. Corruption. All things change. Is like a mini boss or something? That's how it looks anyway. Ah! He doesn't seem to be affected by my attacks a lot of the time. I'm not sure if he's like invulnerable un under certain circumstances or something. Yeah, that was going to happen. <sighs> Let's try this again. Okay, that's better. Whew! I need to stand in this spot. Oh, um... Oh, am I like fixing the pieces of the tree so they go back together? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, it snaps into place when you get it in the right spot, so... it's not a whole lot of challenge here.
the tree showed Raji a vision of Golu, of dark clouds and a gathering storm, threatening destruction on the world. And behind it all, a being of great power and malice. The route is open to the fortress of Jaidar. She is indeed strong, Durga. She is. I hope she is strong enough to bear what she finds inside. Oh, yeah, definitely some frame rate issues here. I'm not sure if you're seeing the same thing. I'm not quite sure how the recording handles this kind of thing, but... Chances are you can probably see that there's some issues. Oh, whoops. I guess I had access to one of those. Couldn't tell because it wasn't showing the little fire burst following me around. Oh, I wasted it. Oh well. Oh, I can't go that way. I was kind of hoping it'd get a bit less linear, but it seems like it's not that kind of experience. That's okay though. Oh, oh that's pretty. I like it. Do, 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 do. What are you get? Oh. Still loading. The fortress will be a challenge for her. But she is growing into her power. I think Mahabalasura and his demons will soon regret the capture of her brother. Hmm. Oh, there's no camera control, by the way. Like, right stick is doing absolutely nothing. Hasn't done anything all game. Camera just moves automatically as you travel along by the looks of things. I'm not sure if I'd mentioned that already. I may have done. Beware of too narrow a focus, Durga. If Mahabharasura triumphs here, then what difference will it make in the long view? Must accept that some things are beyond the ability of mortals to affect. A little bit of parkour here and there. Is there anything back here? Game doesn't really want me to go this way. Yeah, there's nothing back there. Thought it would be worth a check. But you can see from where the camera's moving, it doesn't want me to go back there. It's interesting, you run up the wall, then you can press B again to jump off the wall to get more height. Oh no, what happened to you? Oh no. Oh god. Something terrible happened here.
Oh, the bell. Am I gonna ring a bell? Oh, am I getting a new ability? Minus. Assign favor orbs to unlock abilities on your weapons. Continue hold B. Adding favor orbs and powers abilities increases their probability. To navigate, to, to, to assign orb, okay. Oh, I see. Electrocute, electric bolts. Oh, I see. There'll be more gods that give me different different elements later. Interesting. Uh... Okay, so I can put. Oh, it's B to a sign. That's interesting. Bit of a strange decision. Like that? Uh, how do I quit when I'm ready? Okay, I just press plus. Okay, so I've given myself chain lightning. That sounds good, I think. but it's pretty slow. You can't, like, skip ahead even if you read fast. Oh, okay, we're fighting now. Oh, I like that finish animation. Anything over here of interest? Mm, doesn't look like it. Doesn't seem to be a lot of side paths in this game, which is a bit sad. 
We must have a whole bunch of like little collectibles and stuff if you go off the beaten track, but it doesn't seem like it does that. It kind of reminds me of, um, Bayonetta, in terms of, like, the flow of the levels and the combat. Although I'm enjoying this more because I think there's just more, uh, parkour -y platforming stuff than Bayonetta had. Uh, which is fun. I like that kind of thing. Is this another one in Ability Orbs? Yeah, it is. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna get other weapons. Okay, interesting. Yeah, these controls are a bit weird. Okay, we have another orb to work with. Um, let's add that one and see how we go. Looks like you can change them up at any time, which is nice. You can just switch up your loadout if you do something you don't want to do. I think I'm meant to backtrack now? Yeah. Because I can. Because it's got all these little ledges and things. To climb back up. Oops. <laughs> okay, no, I can do that. I just gotta do another jump when, we, when I've jumped across. Pretty sure. It's a little hard to see exactly where you're lined up because of the perspective, which can make certain things a bit tricky. There we go, see? Easy. I guess there was this direction. I think there was another direction we could go. So yeah, there are some side areas with optional things, like I was talking about there not being. Because I don't think I had to go that way at all, unless it absolutely requires you to get enough orbs to do a certain thing, which is possible. I how I use that electric bolts thing, the one that comes from the sky. When I just equip with my second orb, I mean. Like, I know how to use chain lightning, you just gotta do something that creates lightning and it'll zap multiple enemies, but... The other one, it seems like you have to press something special to activate it, and I don't know what. Oh, there's actually a line left over from where the where the enemy like circle appeared. Interesting. Hmm. This kind of reminds me of like Bastion as well. Bastion, Bastion, whatever it's called. That game. The gods. I can't get down there. Golu! Golu! Oh no. So I can just keep going this way? I... Uh, heckies. I was hoping to rescue Golu. Okay, it looks like this attack has lightning bolts from the sky now. But you can only really use it when there's a wall nearby, so it's a bit limited. Hmm. Oh, that one does too. Huh, maybe it's actually pretty decent. I like how it goes slow-mo when you do a finisher. 
Pretty neat. Goodbye. It is over. <laughs> the fortress of Jether, built by the humans and fought over by demons until the great sundering. The defenses are strong. More and more creatures face her. Does he know she follows? Yay! Okay, and this was an optional side path, I think, because I don't have to go this way to get the orb, I can just not go that way. So it does have missable things, it seems. Uh... Let's put one in there, let's try to be balanced and just get a little bit of everything, I guess. More platforming. Oh, hang on. This is a bit trickier. Uh... Oh. Yeah, you gotta do that, but less bad. <laughs> the respawn is a little slower than I'd like, but it's alright. It's not too bad. And you don't die very often anyway, so... It's not a huge deal. This game definitely has some frame rate problems on the Switch, which is a bit unfortunate. Probably a problem more with the Switch than with the way the game's built, but <sighs> still, it's a bit frustrating. It's possible it'll do an update that fixes that. Um, Bloodstained had similar problems, and it doesn't now, so yeah. Games can be optimized, which is nice. I guess I want to cut that. Oh no, I'm actually grabbing it. Oh, I need to mash the button, okay. Oh. Uh. Oh god. Run, 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 run. <laughs> This is terrifying. Oh. Yeah, perspective. Um. Good thing she's an acrobat. I was have some problems right now. Okay, I assume this part's not going to crumble. Slide down this flag here. Okay, we can't go that way yet, so we have to go this way. This is a marvel. It is surely a weapon of the gods. Oh, a new weapon? It's like a bow? I am surprised, Lord Vishnu. I think it's a bow. bow is a mighty gift. Yeah, it is. The scales must be balanced, must they not? The girl earned her prize. So, can I use the bow? To... <laughs> okay, so if I check the menu now... Yeah, I've got Sharanga, an ancient bow crafted by Vishwakarma, the craftsman of the gods. And I assume I can switch it around if I want? Yeah, I've got Trishul, Sharaga, Sharanga, and there's one more weapon that I haven't got yet. Interesting.
And there'll be more abilities as well, but I haven't got those yet. So, look forward to that. The inventory switching screen's a little fiddly, but it's alright. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so X button, you actually shoot out multiple arrows by the looks of things, which is nice. Oh, I can't go up that wall. Uh, this one? Nope. Yeah, Chain Lightning is definitely very good when there's multiple enemies. Pew! Pew! Oh, uh, ZL? Oh, okay. A game of pie. Interesting. Tricky to use, though. Leave me alone, Jack. Ah. You get being a melee nerd when I have a bow. <laughs> oh! Oh, so you can switch with the D-pad. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. That makes a lot more sense than trying to open the, like, uh, inventory equip screen every time you want to switch weapons. Chain lightning good. I think she knows how to use a bow already. And as, as well as a spear. It's very helpful. Unless that's like part of the power of these weapons is that they magically have you know how to use them, even if you normally wouldn't. It's possible. I wonder what my special super attack is with this one. Oh, I meant like a black hole in the sky. That's pretty neat. Oh, my God. 
Okay, so I can save up multiple of these attacks. I wasn't sure about that. Interesting that the weapons, like uh, the um, loading icon, is is this weapon when you actually have other weapons as well. Sorry, uh, this weapon when you have this one as well. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, what have we here? B and then Y? Oh! Oh, that's nice. Oh! Oh, cool! I got my twirl around the pole movers. Pretty much the same. They don't seem to be damaged very much by me doing the... this one. Hmm. Black hole time. Oh jeez, my health is low. Black hole time. Oh. Okie dokie. My goodness. Um, there's a door here. Can I go through it? No. Want to go this way? Nope, can't go that way. Oh god. The enemy's actually dropping health. I was still at one hit point just then. This is it. This is where they took the god. Open! Open up! Let me in! Nothing. What do I do now? Well, maybe you should hit it with one of your god-given weapons instead of just kicking it. No, that's not working either. Okay, it was worth a try. <laughs> okay, I see a cracked floor. You that's a bit concerning. Oh, goodness. Um, where do I respawn and do I get more health when I do? Because, yeah, I've been at one health for a while. Hopefully I have more health now. 
We'll see. Okay, yeah, I have full health. Okay. Okay, so that's fine. with this wall in the way. <laughs> hmm. Kind of not ideal. Okie dokie. Oh, what's that? Oh, right, a health orb. Eh, still good to have. Ability orbs are better, but... I mean, the game just heals you if you die anyway, so... Black old time. You're so powerful. Another mandala. Another vision of her past. If she can unlock the memory. That's not right. Um adorable. <laughs> Let's go little little kid. Let's go walking. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some frame rate drops here and there. So the Switch version of this game is probably not the best to play if you want the best performance. Um, it is available, I think, on Steam at the moment, or maybe it's still not released yet, but it's going to be on Steam at least. Uh, so getting it that way might be better if performance is important to you. I really like playing it on the Switch, so I got the Switch version, but yeah. It could be a bit of a problem in some cases. <sighs> I'm having a lot of trouble dodging those. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm not very good at this game's combat. <laughs> right about an hour, so I guess I'll finish like this level or so. It's not really clear whether the game has levels or not, but like there was the part before I entered this fortress, and now there's the part in the fortress, and I'm getting more abilities here, so maybe that's a level. I don't know. It's not really structured that way, but... Well, it's not like, explicitly said to be that way, but it sort of is. I don't know. Y you know what I mean. I'm taking a lot of hits here. I 
how many fires left do I? Yeah, I don't. Ah, oh, dang it. Not fires. Yeah, fires. Little flame bursts you can use to do a special move or whatever. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Yeah, just like locking onto something and doing this works pretty well by the looks of things. Because you stay in constant motion. And locking on is a little fiddly. Once the arrow appears, it pretty much stays put, but getting it to appear is weird. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Is that all we need to do? Oh, thank god. Oh, okie dokie. Thank god? It's plural? I don't know. Well, I got an ability orb, so that's cool. Uh, is anything else down here? Nope. So yeah, there's definitely some stuff hidden if you, like, go off the beaten path a little bit, but... It doesn't seem like it's super encouraged. Didn't I just get another orb? So I thought I did. Maybe I put it somewhere else by accident? I don't know. Hmm. I'm confused. Oh. Uh, now I can't go that way? Do you want me to do the fight again? Or what's happening? Did I break something? <laughs> Did I just break the game? I hope not. I don't want to break the game. I want to, want to play the game. Yeah, it looks like it thinks I'm not allowed to go that way, even though I did the fight already. Um... I could try backtracking a bit, maybe it'll remind it. Uh... Can't get over there, there's a nice fountain though. Yeah, I can't get up there. Um What is happening? I feel like I've, I've done something wrong here and it's broken a bunch of stuff. Because that orb has disappeared instead of going into my inventory. And now the, the path to the next bit won't open. I assume I've done something wrong, but I have no idea what. Oh, hang on. I think I'm supposed to go this way. <laughs> okay. Okay, I didn't, I didn't see that. Still though, where did that orb go? There's like a really big vibration when you switch um, layers on one of these. It's very weird. Uh, that's a mouse, so it doesn't go there. I think here-ish? That's the other eye, right? Yeah. There's some top teeth, so it goes with those bottom teeth over there. Who had captured the children? What was their purpose? I don't know. Had Raji known the truth, she may simply have given up. But this being was utterly ruthless. Oh no. Very heavens were at risk. That's not good. 
Okay, I, I built another tree back, so I'm guessing I'm pretty close to the end at this point. Uh, should let me continue now. Yeah, alright. Okay, so that, that bit wasn't broken, but the fact that one of my orbs just sort of disappeared does seem to be broken. Hmm. I don't know if I did something wrong. It is strange, is it not? That such a child should be born of such a bloodline at exactly the time that is needed. Yeah, it is strange. How such things come about. Ah, see. They have depicted Shakti's first address to us. I still hear her words echo. Even now. I am Mahadi Parashakti. I am the absolute reality. She told us that she, the eternal font of energy, beyond form and limit, had created us to govern the universe as aspects of a power. Um, can I go down here? No? Where am I? I'm getting a little confused. Oh, oh, here we go. There's a little sneaky, uh, climby thingies here. There we go. And then from there I can go wee over to here. To Brahma, she gave the role of creator and set the wise Saraswati, the primeval sound, as his concert. Together, they would create the universe. Sounds good. To myself, she assigned the role of preserver, of protector, in all my needful incarnations. With Lakshmi as my consort, so that prosperity and wealth would be at my fingertips. Rudra would become the Lord of Time, both destroyer and regenerator of the universe, and would grow to surpass all Shakti's other forms. One cool. of would become Lord Shiva, destroyer of evil. The other, but you know this, Thurga, for the other half was you. Oops. I think I might wall run, but it didn't quite do what I wanted. <laughs> uh, da, 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 Quickly! Hello! Quickly! Let's go! Where are they taking him? What is it that they want? You shall not stop me! Oh god. I think they stopped me. <sighs> you shall not stop me! There we go. That time they didn't stop me.
Her love strengthens her purpose. Let's go. Let's go save the brother. Um. Okay, I can't go through there, so do I go this way? Yeah, I think I can do some platforming here. Here we go. Oh, ob, 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 ob. Do I have the correct number of orbs now? Or? No, I just lost one. Weird. Uh, well, I'll put one there. Oops. Well, that was a mistake. Meant to do that. Fountain there. Uh, I guess I'll go this way. Okay, we've got another scaffolding over here. Oops. Dang it. Okay. Hop. <laughs> you can't. You just walk off that edge automatically. Like you don't you don't stop to jump, like with some of the other edges in this game. It's a little off-putting. There we go. Okay, we're doing one. Yeah, now we're up here. Um. This feels like it's maybe a different level, but I'm not sure if it's just like the last little bit of the previous one. Okay, I can't climb on that wall. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't go up these walls, so I can't use the wall attacks. Okay. Whatever they want from you, whatever stands in my way, I am coming for you, little brother. They will not stop me. I won't let them hurt you, I swear. Ability orb? Maybe it was something else, like not an ability orb, because I'm still not seeing one. Maybe it was like a, um, a special move orb or something? Thank <laughs> you. 
Woohoo! Oh, that's more. Yeah, the way these levels are designed here, it reminds me a lot of Bayonetta. You know, basically we stages stage with a couple of side things hidden here and there. Um, and also, every couple of steps, a bunch of enemies just appear and block off your movement. That's very Bayonetta. <laughs> Assuming I was doing meters before that combat. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's try this again. God stand on my I am not doing well. The stun lock is pretty severe in this game. Like, if you get hit by anything, they can just pretty much just keep hitting you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'll give this one more try and then I'm gonna call it there for now. Um, and call out a video. Okay, okay. Okay, first round. Okay, we're doing well. Doing well. Goodbye, first round. Also, yeah, chain lightning, lightning is really, really good. Seems like I'm more effective if I avoid the special moves and just try to keep my distance. Hmm. This is a bit sad considering how cool the special moves look. That one's pretty good, though. Okay. <sighs> um, 
Oh, another one of these? Uh, which way around does this go? Uh, okay, there's bells. There we go. Oops. Yeah, the selection controls are a little confusing. <laughs> um, there we go. You go over here. And you go over here. Now remember, Pai, whatever comes to us, Madurka will watch over us. Oh, that is so good. You think too much of this one. She is important. She holds hope for the mortals of the world. Of course I will watch over her. It is strange, is it not? That a place oh, that of pretty. such beauty and intricate design should have been created as a bastion of war. All right, because it's a fortress. War is the means they are given to change the world. They only give it the respect that it is due. War is not the only way. Okay, I don't have any other elements yet. Looks like there's three, but I haven't got them yet. Let's buff my chain lightning a little more. There we go. Oh, there's still more. Okay, I was thinking the level was about to end, but it seems to still be going. Don't know how much more. That might might just be the last little bit there. Oh my, something's happening over there. There. It was Golu. Why did the demons want him? <gasps> this, like, shadow puppet effect is really good. It works really well. summoned a dark mandala, a portal to another place. Are they gonna send Golu to another place? Is that what's happening? And then we have to chase him into, like, demon land or whatever? Raji rushed to stop them. But the demon chieftain blocked her path. And suddenly Golu was gone. Oh, we need to fight. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Captain is very strong. God, he does two damage with each hit? Oh my goodness. Walked away? Seriously? <sighs> oh, um, I guess I got hit when it was coming back. I don't know. so fast, I don't know I'm supposed to be dodging. Okay, I can't go up there. Is there any, like, wall I'm allowed to go next to? It doesn't look like it. No. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it here. Uh, this boss is really hard. Um, wow. Um, yeah, so that's Raji, an ancient epic. It's pretty fun. Um, it's also pretty hard. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just doing things wrong or if this is just supposed to be like a big difficulty spike and I need to get better. That's possible. <sighs> I guess I'll see. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.